And tonight, disturbing video has surfaced of a police officer in Baton Rouge strip searching a 16 year old and his older brother during a traffic stop in broad daylight. That officer is now under investigation, and we warn you, the video is hard to watch. Here's CBS's Jeff Begay's. There's at least three or four people in the car. Within minutes after a traffic stop on New Year's Day in 2020, Clarence Green is standing in the street behind an SUV with his pants down and his underwear exposed. Hey, stop. You, come on, why you can't do that, bro? I can. The officer groping him in public in a search for drugs. And then Green's 16 year old brother is searched in the same manner. Come on. Thomas Frampton is the Green family attorney. I think what's captured in the video bears a closer resemblance to sexual assault than it does to constitutional policing. The officers involved were clearly outside the bounds of anything that the Supreme Court has said is permissible for law enforcement officers to do. Later, body camera footage shows an officer entering the Green family home with his gun drawn and without a warrant. Officers did find a gun in the search and Clarence Green ended up spending five months in jail until a judge ordered his immediate release after determining that officers demonstrated a serious and wanton disregard for the defendant's constitutional rights. You think I'm playing with you? I will f you up. Tonight, the Baton Rouge Police Department told us that it had conducted an internal investigation, but the officers involved in the incident remain on the job. We're not going to dirty your clothes. It will be up to the police chief to decide whether the officers will face any sort of discipline. I think there's a lot of work there to be done by the chief of the Baton Rouge Police Department to determine if policies and procedures were followed. If they were not, then disciplinary actions should follow. Nor it turns out the police reports in the investigation had been revised nearly a dozen times. The family did file a federal lawsuit but settled for $35,000. Jeff Pegues, thank you.